Wynn Holmes? I didn't expect to run into no one out here. Mm. Funny how far a man's debts will follow him. You got some money for me, boy? I seen your name in our ledger. You're with the German? Look, I, I got it for you. It's just, I don't got it yet. It it's up in them hills. Mm. You panning for it? Hunting it. I tracked this cougar. It's rare. Lily white coat, the pelt to more and cover what I owe. If I'm skinning anything, I'm skinning you, boy. Please, I'm out of work. It's the only way you'll get paid, and all the hard work's already done. Fine. Move. We'll, um, uh, need our horses. It's, um, quite a trip. Yeah, yeah. All right, drive, boy. Let's get where we're going. Drive! Okay, follow me. Drive! I'm driving. Make me come out here, make me chase all over this goddamn mountain. Hey, you knew it was a risk. I didn't know nothing. Your name is all I knew. Well, the German-speaking fella then, Mr. Strauss, he knew my work situation was precarious, that this whole thing was a, a risky venture. Boy, risky? I'm at... I at risk now? Are you threatening me, Winton Holmes? I ain't. No, certainly not. Sir, I'm... I'm merely stating a man without a job, with limited prospects, at those rates, repayment was by no means guaranteed. I said I'd do my best, and I did. You're continuing to annoy me. We're going right here, up the stream. Hey, how about this then? I guarantee we paint it. Cause I'm gonna get that money out of you. I gotta squeeze you like a lemon. It's coming out. Yeah, of course. We're onto it now, okay? We're onto it now. The cash is in that cougar, mister. Sure as pumpkins ain't cauliflowers, the cash is in that cougar. <sighs> it better be. Or I'll turn you into a goddamn cauliflower. Up here. We ain't too far now. What I know about cats, this one's rare as hen's teeth. I mean, you ever seen an alabaster wildcat? Big thing about cougars is they see you, not the other way around. That may be, but you'd see this one. I've been hunting with my pa. Shot all kinds of cats. Never one like this. In another life, I'd have sought my fortune outdoors. Not in the hot, stinking belly of a tar pit. I ain't interested in your regrets or your life story, Mr. Holmes. Just your damn money. Try. It. Her den. We should leave the horses. Easy. All right. Show me. You'll see her soon. Quiet now. Won't be able to miss her shining in the dark.
You hear that? There's a cougar in here. And I bet she's white as virgin cotton. The tunnel diverges up here. I'll take the left, you go right, and we'll see if we don't converge down a ways. And look out for her. Yeah, yeah. going the other way. Cover the other side, all right? There's a corpse down here! Hold one!
got him. Crap. Damn. Dead dead. The man ain't coming. What can I do for you? Thanks, partner.
How are you, mister? Hey there. You Hector? That's me. Alden tells me you're a discouraged man. Ah, you must be a friend of that Josiah Trelawney. All right, in that case, I've got something here you might want to take a look at. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I assume you didn't just pop in to say hello? Here. There's a stage heading up from Blackwater. Now, I hear it'll be heavily guarded, so you might want to try a more covert approach. Or... Lay down some explosives. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> You're the expert. Thank you, Hector. Appreciate it. You enjoy the rest of your day. All right. Suit yourself. After a bounty? So I can tell. If so, we got a poster on the wall just there. of an old mine up in the Big Valley Mountains. But you might want to leave that one on the wall. Josh Brown to be a hard man to kill, let alone capture. And that's what we're asking for. Got half the bounty hunters in the state out looking for him. I want your advice. I'll ask for it, okay? Okay. Joshua Brown. Give it to me. He's a killer. Got away with it for the most part, too. Legal kills. But if you walk that line, you're going to step over it at some point, and that what he done. If this man's dangerous, why I gotta bring him in alive? He brought us some bounties in the past, and he's always been decent. If you don't want to bring him in breathing, you leave this alone. I guess I know my job, Dan. Happy hunting. Come on now, boy. Hey. 
Howdy. Okay there.
throw that gun away. Time to go, boy.
Never gonna get the hang of this. Stop it! Stop it! Dad don't care if it's pretty, right? What's his name? You wanna 
play games, what do you? What are you doing? Come on, then! No! Let's get play. off of me! More like a surgeon. You brought hell down on yourself. I'm taking a lack of it. Oh, mister. Thank you. How I even managed to stay faithful to that goddamn psychopath as long as I did. Out of his mind. You should get out of here. I'm sure this attracted some attention. You okay there, mister? You need me to move? Move? I am. I sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? I, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back chat? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. Yes. But... No great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm hmm. Are you looking for that fellow's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's in. Okay, thanks.
see. Yeah. 
Look who it is. I did not count on seeing that wagon again. Nor you for that matter. The only people you won't be seeing are the folks that took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Now, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now.
another damn gray in disguise. Here we go. What? Well, yeah. Tell you what I learned. What? <laughs> We're going for a walk. <laughs> you owe me one. Let's go, boy. Come on now, boy.
Can I help you? Well, it looks like you boys had some trouble. <sighs> yeah, we had some trouble. Bad trouble. What you want? Oh, I was supposed to meet some business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican? Yes, sir. Out by the stables, I think. Thank you. And, uh, sorry for your troubles, friend. Down, you're helping everybody. And there's troubles everywhere. Bandits attack my fields. Men getting killed. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants! I don't know. Mongrels! Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you... Five thousand. Five thousand? For horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these five thousand dollar horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fellow over there will run them out of state and give you fifty cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Passing you. Yep. about that. Burning rich folks' property. Sean was like a pig in shit. Talking to Sean, he said to give you a... God damn it! He said to give you a message to meet him, Bill, and Micah in town as soon as you can. Some other job they got going with the Grays. Another one? Uh, okay. I'll go see what they're up to when we're done with this. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. <laughs> Careful, there's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay then, let's head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you.
that's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. You don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. Alright, I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down, play cool. We'll head around the front, hitch up there. Let's hitch up here. Whoa! <laughs> you can rest now, boy. Let me do the talking. Can I help you, boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. Cerberus is a real reliable stud. Fathered many a race winner. This one's uh, old faithful. <laughs> he was a champion, briefly, until he hurt his leg, didn't you, boy? Amazing runner, though. He's up for sale for a decent... Uh -huh. Greaser, huh? Okay, bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. Alright, I'll grab the white one in the middle, you get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy now. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Easy. It's okay. Easy. You're okay. There, boy. Oi! Shh, 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 boy. <laughs> What's your game? Aside from smelling funny. Easy there, easy. Whoa. Easy there. Whoa, now, easy. Easy, boy. This here's Cerberus. There you go, boy. Cerberus is a real reliable stud. Fathered many a race winner. This one's uh, old faithful. <laughs> he was a champion, brief. Uh huh, greaser, huh? Okay, bandana's on. Don't need nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy, Easy now. <laughs> Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Marston, you right point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Get going, you What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! you are being robbed! I said stop these men! Coming out of the field. 
fields! Just over there, come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. Hey, hey! You think they look like they're paying 5,000 for horses? I guess we'll see. you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. <laughs> so what are you? Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours. But I like you, and I'll give you... 
I'd give you 654. Okay. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for him. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it, or leave it. Uh-huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believed the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. Oh, Charles.
never been getting into trouble again. I never liked cops, Mr. Matthews, but uh, maybe they're right. I need to confess. It was fun going out and working with you, Arthur. I've seen too many friends get killed to see it as quite so fun. Well, I'd rather be shot for an outlaw than hang for a thief. <laughs> Reckon it's about the same in the end. Maybe. Anyway, it was fun. Sure. I expect you'll betray me in the end, Arthur. You're the type. That's so. You tell me. Hey, Charles. Good to see you back on your feet. No rest for the wicked. How are you today, Arthur? 